Hello and welcome <laughs> to Arca at Homestead Road Course. We are not on the oval, we are on the road course. I believe it's layout. Yeah, road course B is what it's called. And, um, oh boy, this is going to be a challenge. I'm brand new to this course and uh, tried to get some practice in beforehand. But this uh, this car is already difficult on road courses, and this uh, this one seems to be no exception. And me being unfamiliar with this place has not helped matters. I really did try to get as much practice done as possible, but I think all I can really do here is just try to be consistent not try to be too fast because I'll just end up crashing myself try to get freebies if possible and we'll see what happens try to stay out of trouble very very challenging but I love it I, uh, I like a challenge even if it may not turn out so well for me in the end we are in the first race of the week here on Monday so we've got a lot of uh, familiar drivers as usual, including Gavin this time. He's not stuck in a GR86 race green flag, green <laughs> this time. Okay. So good to see him here. Flag. I've got my steering ratio set all the way down to 8 to 1. Because I have a bad habit of, in road racing, not turning my wheel enough. And I have my brake bias down just a bit to 62. Because I wasn't getting as much turn as I was hoping to get otherwise. And it was probably just because I was overdriving. But that's beside the point. It's uh, There aren't really any great brake markers either it feels like it was like a you kind of have to break just in the middle of nowhere I've kind of found a few very subtle braking indicators that I'm using that should hopefully prevent me from missing my brake marker but I'm kind of worried like if I got someone alongside me or something it might be hard to tell when I need to be braking so uh, it could be a situation where I'm trying to avoid being side by side as much as possible. Excuse me. Eh? Oh yeah, we're dropping hard. Not very fast. Didn't really expect to be. But I am dropping fast. I'll try to push a little bit more of this lap. First lap, I wanted to make sure I just got a lap in at all. It's always a little bit unsettled on throttle if you're not careful, so I will try to be. This uh, corner in particular is very sharp. So I'm trying to make sure I get uh, a late turn in, so I can make the corner properly. And then because of the setup we have, even the oval part's kind of like a little tricky, because, well first of all, I think you want to stay in third gear for sure, but it's really tight because of the road course setup, I guess. And there I'm almost breaking my or missing my breaking point right there. I don't know. Oh man, P15, that's not good at all. <laughs> We're gonna be way in the back. That's okay. Just gonna have to try to get spots by. That's the end of the session. Yeah, I was gonna miss that corner, so that's good timing. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're almost the slowest out here. Not great, but that guy's like Justin up there. Billy's in here. I didn't even see that at first. Gavin is about, actually, we're pretty close to Gavin. We some close lap times right here. That, that makes me feel a little bit better. All within about 10th, two tenths. We got both Gavins in here, in fact. I never even really looked too close at the lineup, clearly. But we got lots of uh, good drivers in here. Some others, maybe I might be a little bit concerned about, but I just, mostly just because I don't know them too well. One to go, next time by. Line up so what we will do our oh, pace lap. I wish if I had known that I was going to qualify all the way back here, probably would have just not qualified. Put myself at the back. Maybe there's a way I can actually do that. I don't know, but on the other hand, I might be hoping or wishing that I had stayed ahead of some people later because obviously passing on a road course can be a challenge and this is an enough challenge for me already. I, uh, it's going to be really tough to not crash at some point. I'm just going to leave it at that. Even my optimal lap, I still would have been 8th at best. <laughs> That's not great. I think I'll just be happy if I don't crash uh, because of my own fault. I mean, I won't be happy if I get taken out into turn 1 or something. That wouldn't be great either, but... You don't get any in your time for this race, so let's get smart out here. The track temp is 111. The air temp is... I have a feeling this might be a big disaster into turn 1. It's a very fast left-hander into a pretty big braking zone. In the left column. <laughs> I don't know what's happened out there. Justin, you like, protested. First gear is like surprisingly long. You can actually get on the throttle somewhat well through some of the uh, really slow corners, but you still got to be careful if you're going to be high RPM and trying to turn at the same time or something. That's probably not a good idea to be sliding the rear tires or any of the tires for that matter at any point. Hopefully Diet Gavin up there. Not uh, Dirt Gavin, <laughs> but Diet Gavin. Hopefully he's got his uh, some of his graphical issues settled down a little bit. He had installed his new graphics card to improve his performance, and it did the opposite. So hopefully he's got that a, a little bit figured out. I know that stuff's really frustrating to deal with. My old oldest computer, I think it was like two computers ago, couldn't even run the, this car. It couldn't run the ARCA car because it had the new damage model. And anytime someone would wreck on the track, I would just start watching a slideshow. And I just, I, I couldn't drive like that. So I just couldn't drive the ARCA car at first, which is very disappointing. And it has, of course, become maybe my favorite car on iRacing. So I'm glad that I was able to eventually do so. This is going to be interesting. At the very least, you can't say it won't be interesting. Is this pace speed? We're on the oval part still? Still, uh, yeah, I guess they probably don't have variable pace speeds, do they? Oh well, pace car's pulling off soon. What's this going to look like? Is it going to go early? Spread the field out a little bit? That's what I would hope. Pace car's not off yet, though. He's actually The pace car's actually not taking the access road. He's going to pull off the last second. That's, that makes sense, I guess. I should have known that. Oh, boy. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Pace car is off. Wait until green. Green, green, green. Oh boy. Watch your speed limit in the car. All right. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. 
Thought I saw smoke. I guess I didn't. Still there. Still there. Clear. Car on your left. Ground. Yep, don't have time to waste. Clear. Slow car ahead. Okay, making our way through. Split on the car. We're good. We got room behind us now. They got wrecked. Hate to see it, but also love to see it. <laughs> no pressure from behind is going to be big. Don't run in the back of anybody. Alright, we're to the oval part. This Roval. You can see it's so tight. Oh wow, someone spun off of the uh off the oval there. I did not expect to see that. B13. Oh, someone real unsettled. That's worrying me. So he's right in front of me. He's locking his tires up. Very easy to overdrive this. You can't go through there all that fast. We got go both Gavins up ahead. Oh, okay. Overdrove that a little bit. I'm like looking for markings on the track for my braking points. <laughs> That's how, uh, Sketchy, that is. Okay, still got about a second behind, but they are catching me. Probably just gonna let them go if they do catch me, so they don't catch me in a bad spot. Got through there pretty good. Look out for the pit speed turning a bit. 18 spinning. Right. Getting out of the way. Okay. It's another spot. We did lose some time though, being careful, watching that happen. Really try not to slide the back tires like that so much. Okay. We actually gained some time back. That's good. Draft really not much of a thing in the Arca car. Don't have to worry about that all that much. Gotta just keep it on track. B12. Look out for the pit speed limit. Okay, Colton. The next car is Sprouts. Can I gain anything? Can I be competitive? <laughs> Zach Sprouse ahead of us. <laughs> Sounds like one of the Zack and Cody people, but it's not actually true because that's not their real name. Maybe double take though. <laughs> Alright, 
We're doing okay though. I'm feeling fine for now. Keeping it on the track. I believe we're still P12, which would be great. Ooh, getting a little loose on entry. Be careful, we are high RPM. Got behind struggling through the oval, oval portion, I think, actually. Watch your speed. Everyone's doing pretty darn good, though. You got it, like nah, never mind. <laughs> I was about to remark on how little crashes we've seen, but unfortunately that was Scott. Ran into some trouble one way or another. Why are my uh, why are my frames dropping? Are <laughs> Gavin's frame drops contagious? If not, I'm getting close to him once we get these braking zones. Ooh, got some wheel hop there. That was scary. Three seconds ahead. I don't know if I'm fast enough for those guys. I'll see what I got. Ten to go. This time by. P11. Watch your speed limit in the pits. You've just done a 121.7. I think um, I'm afraid to get on the throttle a little bit too much, just because, like I mentioned before, the uh, first gear is actually pretty long. So you can actually get on throttle a little harder than you might expect if you've uh, done some of this before. Arc on road courses, I mean. We might be catching, though. Had a pretty good little sector there. Was he three seconds ahead or two? I thought he was three seconds ahead, that's why I said that, but maybe he was two seconds ahead and I'm just full of it. Out on set, hold on breaking air. There's Gavin. Diet Gavin. Oh, there's me. Looking at Diet Gavin instead of where I'm supposed to be braking. <laughs> Pay attention to your own dang race, I said. Four seconds behind us. Need to breathe. Kind of got a little bit of the grass there, maybe. Thought I saw some tire marks in there. Don't know if that was his or not, though, to be fair. I didn't really get a good runoff, though. Yay. This part I can handle. This is more familiar to me. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little scary. That got a little sideways under braking. Almost pulled me too far to the left. I'm trying to catch him. Just about halfway through this thing. But 
a second ahead. He gets through there better than I do, I think. Last time around, though, I did a little bit better in the first couple corners. <laughs> We get someone off. Almost over revved it, almost spun it. That was scary. Need to make sure I'm not overdriving just because I want to catch him. Cause that's just gonna end up with me off the course and that's not gonna help anything. It's a little wide. Oh, we've got a bit of a run on now. This is a long time that we're gonna be uh, having a little bit more momentum too. All the way through the robo part. Can't run in the back of him here, though, if he does come through here a little bit easier. That lap time was 22.1. Watch your speed. You got it. Play car on the right. Pulls back away a little bit. Tire hop. Yep, that killed me. I shifted down too early. Dang. Now we gotta watch Scott behind us. He gained a whole bunch of time. Dang, I got up right next to him and uh, right behind him. And then nearly, completely blew the corner. Thankfully, I uh, reined it in a little bit. It wasn't a complete disaster. I lose about three seconds or so. Not the worst thing in the world. Not what I want to be doing, though. We're going to have five laps to go. You got five laps to go. helping having some reference point in front of me, I'll be honest. Always helps a little bit, judge your speed a little bit off of that. Okay, don't shift too early this time. There you go. That's more like it. I don't even think I overdrove it. I think I just shifted too early and then my uh, brakes weren't working as well because my car was bouncing up and down. See if we can get much back. I don't think we're making up all four seconds, though, unless he makes a mistake. <laughs> all right. Let's keep it on track, at the very least. Look out for the pit speed limit.
Man, it's so slow around some of these corners, it feels like I need to shift to zeroth gear. We have a Gavin on Gavin Pass up ahead. Didn't see how that went down, but we've got a different Gavin to chase now. Pedal of the Gavins up there. I wonder who's winning this thing, and I can't I wouldn't dare check. Cause I can't lose focus even for a second. I'm getting my tires off in the grass just a bit. Not very good right there. One spot away from a top ten, it could just be a, a late problem for someone ahead of us that could get us there. I'd be very happy with that. Like I said, I'd be very happy just finishing this race. It's such a challenge. Drove that, unfortunately. Tires aren't gripping quite the same as they were before. The gap to Irvin behind is increasing. It's now 3.6 seconds. Three seconds behind. Oh, did they have another pass? They have a great battle going on, I think. Yeah, Gavin Rapchan passes Gavin Lemons. That's going to be a fun one to watch, I think. Oh my god, the car is not turning through there anymore. Keep going wide. Come on, get around the corner. Thank you. B12, two laps left. Your lap times are dropping off. Come on, stay focused. Lap times are dropping off because the car is dropping off. What do you expect? Room cheese. Tires and the rears also not gripping quite as well. Can't get on throttle as effectively. We're going to be coming to the white flag. I make it through that corner that time. Congratulations to me. I don't like the fact that Scott's catching up to me from behind. He gained some time this lap. All I gotta do is uh, keep it clean one more time, though, and I think I'm solidly finishing where I am now. We gotta pass again up there? They're really close. I mean, as far as I've seen, it seems like everybody's been racing courteously. <laughs> not, uh, not any horrible mistakes I've seen where guys take a bowling ball to a bunch of pins. That corner probably looks like nothing, but it's really on edge through there. Went in first gear. Okay. Scott was catching us. He's probably pushing a little harder trying to reach me, but I think we're in the clear now.
We made it. We made it to the end. Okay, that's the end. And we made it to the other part of the oval. <laughs> Who got the win? Oh, Ethan Stanley. I didn't even, uh, I don't even recognize him, but he had a very good run, clearly. <laughs> and I'm going to say it's pretty much the same thing, too. Kit aside, just giving our uh, good race, good wins to everybody. Yeah, really tough. It, it was pretty fun, though. You know, the fun comes from the challenge. So I'm kind of curious what the tires were. Got the 80s on the right side. Actually, right rear more so. That's very interesting. Definitely left rear over here. Just kind of curious. I knew they definitely, they definitely weren't at 100 anymore. So I was curious how that uh, was looking. So, it looks like uh, Rap Chan comes out on top in Battle of the Gavins. And uh, as for us, Battle of Homestead Road Course B, <laughs> we are going to be P11. So, we've got uh, Billy up there with a great run. Recognize Jack as well. And the five gets a P3. Justin Yi in seventh. All right, good stuff. I think uh, I pretty much only passed people that crashed. <laughs> But uh, that's not too surprising. I'm, I'm very happy with uh, how that turned out, though. One of few with 0x. That's what I was focused on, just trying to keep it clean, keep it on track. So I guess mission accomplished. We'll see who had trouble and what trouble there is to find. The incidents. Cinnamon Toast Crunch gets crunched from behind. Someone's paint's not loading. And interestingly enough, the guy getting hit from behind, or the guy doing the hitting from behind, ends up the one getting turned. It's a bit of an accordion there. And then I remember seeing that in the rear view. Gave me a little bit of breathing room back behind me. Oh, this is the guy we saw. Oh, yikes. Yeah, he gets the inside wall hard. I was wondering how that happened, because it's definitely not loose through the oval part. But if you hit the wall first, it definitely do it like that. Ooh. It was intense. Yeah, I bet it was. I'm going to have to watch both of their perspectives, I think, because I think they probably had a really fun battle. Good stuff. So we had some turn one difficulty there. This is just going you so fast through here. And then this guy was right in front of me when that went down. Just does a spin and gets going pretty quick. There's that corner I told you. It's It doesn't look like much, but it's really unsettled there as you're kind of going from first gear, the end of first gear to second gear. That's definitely easy to do. Oh no. The one car uses up Scott really bad. Definitely didn't seem intentional. I think the one overcooked it hard. But that must have been how Scott ended up behind us. He tried his best to keep off him, you can tell, but... It's not successful. Oh my gosh, and then Scott was fine. And then he just was so unlucky, because he had a couple of guys coming through side by side right when he's trying to get back on track and it's not like he had a bad rejoin or anything I, I think that's pretty reasonable he's not perpendicular to the track or anything it's just he doesn't know two guys are gonna be coming in there side by side essentially and then <sighs> that's so unlucky that must have been really frustrating that sucks And. 
and then it doesn't even grip up for him. Oh my gosh, I would be so upset <laughs> if that all happened. Uh, four pushes wide into the five. This is for the lead, I believe. Fighting hard. Oh, what? How did you get over here? Okay. Wow, massively. He forgot he was at the road course for a second. He was going to the oval. Massively overdrives that, and you're not slowing that thing down in the, in the middle of nowhere. Where do you even go at this point? <laughs> just, I guess just rejoin the track somewhere? That's probably like an automatic... Oh, hello. How did they even score that? That's a huge cut. Like, do you just got an automatic black flag for that? I don't know how they decide something like that. Oh no, that really sucks. Two laps to go. And he just gets those tires, just barely into the grass. And then he can't turn it. He just can't get it out of there. And from the lead, that's so disappointing. I think he still gets P3, yeah, but you know, he wanted the win. And then after the race, Zach here decides he wants to take, uh, well, I guess the oval, but it's looking more like Martinsville with the wall riding, am I right? <laughs> anyway, he's not the only one. We've got multiple people trying to take uh, Homestead. But, uh, setup's a little tight. <laughs> Lots of people with the same idea. And then your winner. Gonna do a little celebrating. And the 17, I guess, celebrating too. For a P5, I guess. And I think that's all we're gonna get. So, um, not a great finish, but you know what? I feel great about that finish because I moved forward four spots. I kept it on track, completely clean, just one spot behind Diet Gavin, <laughs> and then a couple spots behind, or, you know, just a few spots behind uh, Dirt Gavin up there. Got to watch their Gavin battle, <laughs> and uh, it was a fun challenge just getting around the track. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, good luck if you try, that, try this this week. I recommend lots of practice because it's difficult. Um, Maybe I'll give it another go myself sometime later this week, see if I can improve. But uh, for now, that'll do it. Appreciate you. Have a good one.